Hey YouTube, what's up? It's 20th Tech Reviewer. Today, I'm going to be giving you a demo of iOS 5.0. And I'll also be showing you how to get it. So, I'll just show you guys this iOS 5.0. You go to Settings, General, About, um, Version 5.0. Also, I have um, iMessage and Newsstand. So that just shows that it's iOS 5. Now I can show you guys how to get it. Alright, so I'm going to be posting links in the description for go to my downloads for the 5.0 software for your devices. This is compatible with 3rd generation iPod Touch, 4th generation iPod Touch, iPad 2, um, and I'm not sure about iPad 1. So if you're not sure, just go and look at it. All right, so what you want to do is, once you plug in your iPod to the computer, if you're on a Mac, um, you hold Option-Alt, this one right here, and then press Restore, and then you'll go to your software and select it. And if you're on a, on a PC, you do the same thing except for with Shift. And then once it's restored, um, you want to go onto your iPod and it won't let you go past the lock screen. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. If, because Apple wants you to um, make a UD ID um, to submit it with Apple, so you have to have a $100 uh, developer's account for that, which nobody really wants to pay $100 for, unless obviously you're a very intense developer. So I'm going to boot off my uh, iPod here, and then I'll turn it back on. Just a few things. Uh, iOS 5 right now, obviously since it's beta. It's very glitchy so and you only have to restore with this otherwise it won't work uh, and you have to download iOS, uh, iTunes 10.5 sorry guys I can't really talk today um, iTunes 10.5 otherwise you won't be able to sync with your iPod um, and even if you did um, even if you did download iTunes 10.5 it won't let you sync it it'll say it's unrecognized and it'll turn off your iPod so you have to do this again and a lot of stuff doesn't work unless you uh, submitted your UDID. Like iMessage doesn't work, Notification Center doesn't work too well, Multitasking doesn't work at all, the whole thing is glitchy, and you won't be able to put any of your songs on. So slide to set up. Um, you don't want to do that because you see all there is is activating your iPod Touch and then it's going to say um, your iPod Touch cannot be activated because the te uh, activation server is temporarily unavailable, try to connection. Try connecting your iPod Touch to iTunes to activate or try to get in a couple of minutes. There's a problem. Uh, persist. Contact Apple support. So that's not what we want. So I want you to turn off your iPod. So then just press the home button to turn it on. I'm going to triple tap to hear voice over. Voice over off. Okay. Voice over. So then you want to press the little lock at the top. You see the little lock? And you just want to slide down with three fingers so you get notification center. And it'll just say that. So then what we want to do is slide to unlock. And you get your notification center. So you press local weather. Loading weather information. Once it loads, I'll have to try again in a second. Because it has your stocks and your um, and your weather there. That's obviously editable for that's a word. Alright, so while this is loading, I want to thank you guys for watching this. And if you could subscribe, that will be great to watch my other videos. Um, there you go. So I pressed on the weather. It shows local weather. It's going to say unable to uh, update failed. So I just press the home button. And there you go. You're in. You have iOS 5. You got your email. You got everything. Except for then again, iMessage doesn't work. Your notification center doesn't work. Reminders is a pretty cool app. I just like playing with it a second ago. Um, you could choose any day. And this also syncs with your, um, syncs with your email. So, you, so I got here three things to do today: eat, survive, go to sleep. So you check off each one as you go, and it'll say like completed or whatever. So then you could go to um, by date, and you just scroll here, and you can, you know, you can make your own reminders. I guess that's pretty cool. And then multitasking doesn't work if I double press see nothing happened so that was a basic preview iOS 5 um, do I recommend uh, upgrading 
no, not at all. This is definitely not going to be worth it unless you want to go to your friends. Hey, look at me. I have iOS 5. So I'll be able to show you guys how to downgrade from this in a few days, hopefully, which will be really cool. So you can just go iOS 5, check it out, and then go back to go back to your 4.3 or whatever software you're on, jailbreak it. And then, so when this comes out in the fall with OSX Line, I'll be giving a preview of that also. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe to me, and leave a comment if you have a request for any video I should make. And thanks for watching.